In this video, I want to go through simple laptop stroke computer storage. This came up with a Bib Accelerator member of mine who was struggling because she was finding duplicate documents of things and also just not being able to find things on her computer and laptop. Now, anybody that knows me will know that I love that technology should make your life simpler and easier and if it's not doing that then we need to fix it so this is why I wanted to go through this with you because if it's gonna help her then it also will help you she also said the way that I explained it made it quite simple so today I'm gonna go through three things the desktop which is what you see right now as you open up your computer whatever's on the screen in front of you that's called your desktop your computer storage which I describe as your filing cabinet where all the, all the files will be and also online storage and how that impacts and, and how you can use that. As I always say with these AMA ask me anything videos there is no silly question and I think where most people um, who sort of grow up with technology may understand this stuff there's a whole heap of people the technology revolution is really only since the early 2000s so anybody that was born before the early 2000s have a life that really didn't have technology and so much is presumed that people know and you're never actually shown or nobody kind of goes through it with you to explain it so that is what I endeavour to do today, is to explain the storage on your laptop and how it works so that then it makes sense and you can use it really well. So, let's get started. The desktop. The desktop is all the files that you see here when you open up your laptop stroke computer. Now the thing with your desktop is, imagine it is physically your desktop because it will load up these files every single time that you open your computer. You're basically saying, I need these files right now. I need them to be really accessible right now. So anything that is on this desktop will be loaded every single time you open your laptop or your computer. For that reason, I have seen people with loads of stuff saved in their desktop and wondering why their computer is running slow. And that's one of the reasons why. So I would say, clear off your desktop we want everything in the filing cabinet and you can create a shortcut which I'll show you how to do in this video so you can have a shortcut on your desktop which says if I click this this is the place in the filing cabinet that that exists so it doesn't hold it in your desktop it just directs it to the filing cabinet so as you can see from um, Sorry, just to get comfortable. As you can see from my desktop, there's a few documents on here. These are documents that I'm working on right now, um, some project stuff that I was, I'm working on, or things that I need access to quite often, like my signatures, one of them that I have on my desktop. It's not a very big file. So I have a very limited amount of stuff on my desktop. So then we need to look at the filing cabinet. So on a Mac, we will go to Finder down here. On a Windows laptop, you'll go to the little folder, the little yellow folder that's on the bar at the bottom. What I go through in terms of the way that your computer or laptop works is exactly the same or similar, very, very similar, on a Mac as it is on a Windows. So everything, even though I'm showing you on a Mac, you will understand it when you open your Windows, it will make sense. So I'm going to click on Finder, and this is a snapshot of everything for your computer. So you'll always have this toolbar down the left-hand side, and then when you click on something, it will bring up the relevant stuff on the right-hand side. So as you can see, there's desktop here. If I click on that, I will see all the same files as what I've got here on the desktop. So this is one storage area for your computer stroke laptop, is your desktop. Okay, the next one I'm going to show you is you'll have a home button on something, some element, and if you click on this, this is the filing cabinet. So this is everything that is on your laptop. Now the ones that we see a lot in terms of the options that you'll have, you'll definitely have documents, uh, movies, music, and pictures. Those are the ones that you will most likely see. 
and those are really great for your filing cabinet so you put your documents in there your movies in there your music in there and your pictures in there simple there you go everything's in the filing cabinet then if I wanted a shortcut for my documents on my desktop if I right click now for a Mac it's called it's called make alias on a Windows it will say uh, create a shortcut so we just create that and for this it drops it in the same folder but as you can see it's got a little arrow indicating that it's a shortcut and then I'm just going to drag that onto my desktop so now I have a, a shortcut to my documents folder from my desktop I can rename it if I want I can just right click uh, and rename so just put documents shortcut I prefer shortcut to alias I don't think alias sounds a bit odd to me but document shortcut so now if I wanted to, to open my computer then go to my documents I wouldn't need to do I just go up here and then double click here and it would take me straight to my documents but because it's a shortcut it's literally going and finding that place in the filing cabinet it's not keeping all of those documents on my desktop okay so on my I've got some other things I've got applications which is all of the systems that are on my computer um, and then the other bit that I have got here is my OneDrive. Now, this is online storage, so it's how you want to use online storage. So there's three. There's uh, the uh, kind of the main ones. There's Dropbox, OneDrive, and uh, Google Drive. I have done another AMA video that talks about the difference between those three. So if you want to to use an online storage, it's good for two things. Number one is if you want to use it as a backup because you can access anything that's on your OneDrive you can access from multiple doc, uh, multiple devices because it's stored on the cloud or on the internet or the servers whatever kind of terminology you want to use but because it's on the internet servers if I go to another PC and I open up my OneDrive all of those same folders will be there so you can use it on any any system which is quite useful if there's more than one of you in the team or if you use different you work from different places or those sorts of things it can be quite useful for that it's also great as I said for backup so anything that is on your computer is on your hard drive of your computer so if your computer goes kaput then you're gonna have to hope that some technical person can get the information off your hard drive or the better option is to back it up. So one thing that you can do is you can back up all of those onto your OneDrive, Google Drive, whatever it is, and then you've got everything backed up. Um, the other thing is with these online storages options is they have a share link. So if you want to share documents with your clients, for example, you can create a folder in your OneDrive and then you can you can click to create a share link so then they can access that particular folder. This is really good if you want to share client uh, you want to share cer certain forms or certain PDFs or certain information with your client. You could create a folder with all your client forms in and then share that. Just be aware of GDPR with that. Um, I don't share my notes, for example, my intake form, for example, because that's got quite a lot of personal information on it. So that doesn't go on my OneDrive. But if I was trying, I had gone through a breathing exercise with somebody, then um, absolutely you could put a little document together and share that on the OneDrive so they've got it as a, an example for them when they want it. So if you want to do that, then you can have your OneDrive things here. So I use OneDrive, so I have backup separately, and then I use my OneDrive as my main folder. So as you can see here, documents, pictures, movies, these sorts of things, uh, but they are on my OneDrive. They are on my online storage, not on my computer. So um, just to recap, your, you've got three places. You've got the desktop, you've got your actual hard drive of your computer and you've got online storage and how you use those three is up to you but the desktop really slows down your computer if you've got a lot on there so I would say if you've got a lot on your desktop file it all away 
and uh, put shortcuts onto your desktop. File everything in your hard drive in here and then decide how you want to use online storage, whether that be for only the files that you're going to share with your clients because you've got backup somewhere else or whether you want access to all your files all the time so therefore you're going to put everything on your OneDrive or use it as a full backup, it's completely up to you. Bonus tip, um, downloads folder. Anything that you download will drop into your downloads folder. But the way that I use my downloads folder is it hasn't yet been filed. So this particular image I was using today, it's been downloaded into my downloads folder. I now need to file that into my OneDrive so that it's filed away. So I have seen people with downloads folders that have got thousands and thousands and thousands of things in. And then when they download something, they say, well, I can't find it. It's in my downloads and it gets lost. Your downloads folder should really um, not have very much in it at all. And every now and again, you should go in and store all of your downloads in the relevant places, in the right places, so that you can then find them. And then what happens is your downloads folder, I haven't done it for a little while, so as you can see, I have got some, but I have got loads. Um, so then your downloads folder really should only be the things that you have recently downloaded, not an absolute endless trawl of everything. Because again, this is taking up storage on your laptop or your computer. So if you have stored these properly or deleted them, if you don't need them anymore, then it, it frees up space on your laptop and it makes sure that you're very clean and organized because everything that you want is in your hard drive folders. That is it for today. I hope you found that useful and uh, I will see you next week for the next video.